So the last trip you saw, if you haven't seen that video, go ahead and check it out. Fishing with a uh, fly about this size, tipped with some bluegill strip bait. I decided why not go ahead and, and, and beef it up, you know, let's get a real hook on here. It's a three alt hook. First thing we're gonna do is use some flash copper. Lay it on the hook about halfway. Just lay it straight down on the hook, just like that. And uh, there's Stuka Bear on the job, as always. Stuka Bear on the job. Gonna cut it just past the hook. Next thing is bucktail, white, natural. You know, this is a this is an attractor. It is a lure. It is a jig. It is a whatever you want to call it. Very sparse, and we're gonna. Make sure that this comes just past the uh, flash there. These catfish tend to like some flash in it. A lot of people don't know, but catfish can act, are actually pretty visual. They don't just smell stinky stuff and only eat stinky stuff. That's like an absolute misnomer. Catfish have very good eyes. So we're gonna put that on there. Just wrap it in there. Don't want it to flare out too much, so deer hair. Fly tires use this to make muddler minnows and stuff. It, want, it needs to be shorter than the, uh, than the flash. We're going to do that. And we're not done yet, but we've got to put one on the bottom side. Okay, right there. About the same thing, just a little shorter. All you need to do is the top and the bottom, because one of the things I'm trying to simulate is a, a somewhat is a, is a bluegill, so it has a more flat profile than, say, a herring or something. Take this, hold it back, and then just cinch down See that, how it's flaring out? See that, I was just flare out like a spider, you know? That's a little bit more than I wanted, but yeah, there we go. Three, four, five. I've gone to using the spar thing. This is the same stuff I used as the finish for my hand line reels and my uh, floats. And a 50 pound test is my little bodkin. And then what I do is just put a little thin thing of That's it right there. And my friends, that is how I make a catfish fly or catfish lure or catfish jig, whatever we're gonna call this thing. Uh, just basically an upscale version of what I'm doing with my bluegill. Instead of tipping it with maggots, I'm tipping it with a nice fat piece of cut bait. We could run this same thing, but guess what? We have a you know double rig there if we want to use a whole bluegill or a whole piece of skipjack or something, all kinds of possibilities. Because I'm trolling, I find that chunk bait doesn't work so well because it just twists up the line. I think what I'm probably gonna end up doing is just using uh, or strip of bait from a herring or a, we'll put strip bait on there and that'll it'll flow with the current with that lead core line like I love. And so uh, there, my friends, is a catfish jig right there.